Hello and welcome to my warehouse quick sponsored review, meaning they paid me for this, of AMZ Scout Pro. Now if you think that because they paid me it's not worth watching, get out of here. Everyone else, let's find some ways to make money using this awesome Chrome extension. It costs 200 bucks for a lifetime membership. You can pay month to month for 45 bucks a month. I would not recommend doing that. I mean, do one month and see if you like it, but just the lifetime membership. They do discounts and that kind of stuff. I got an email three days ago how they were doing like 20% off, so it, it, it gets cheaper. Uh, the reason you'll use this product, again, is to find private label products. So you go into Amazon, you say, well, what we're going to be doing is heat guns. I might start, well, I'm not going to now because you're watching the video, but before I made this video, I was considering private labeling heat guns, meaning I go to Alibaba.com or wherever I wanted to go to say, hey, I want to buy a thousand heat guns that get up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Who knows? That isn't important. They say, okay, it costs this much and then yada, yada, yada. I'm selling products. What AMZ Scout does is it does all of the guesswork for you. How many products are selling each month? What is the niche like? How much competition is there? All the things you want to know if you're starting a business. These can be expensive things. Is paying 200 bucks one time worth it to have this information? In my opinion, yes. Now, obviously, you got to have the money in the first place. Don't, you know, take out loans or use a credit card. This is for people who are already ready to take the next step. This is not going to magically make your business great, but what it will do is give you access to the information that those other million dollar businesses do have. Okay, I have the page pulled up. It's Heat Gun on Amazon. And now what I do is I go up to the top right to the bottom left and you see a, a niche score or the AMZ Scout Chrome plugin extension icon. We're going to click that button in the bottom left corner. It's going to pop up a list of all of the products there. Every product on the first, well, the first 60 for us. Who knows how many pages that is? Who cares? If you're beyond the first 60, you're not getting very many sales. Uh, we're just typed in Heat Gun. Beyond that, you could say, uh, you know, easy grip heat gun. You could say super hot heat gun. You could do a lot of keyword work as well. They help with that. Uh, you can check out the keywords by pressing, well, it's the, the niche keyword button down here in the bottom. You uh, click that up and a little cloud uh, graph, whatever they're called, pops up. So the main terms for heat guns are gun, heat, air, and hot. So those are the ones you want to work around. Temperature is big, nozzle is big, but everything else, I mean, they're heat guns, right? AMZ Scout gives you this spreadsheet, it's rows and columns. So from the very top row, from left to right, we're gonna go over uh, what they give you. The first one is results, 60 results. Next up, you have average monthly sales per item. Then you have average sales rank. Then you have average price. Then you have average reviews. For this one, a lot of reviews per item. That's one of the bad things about it. Saturation score is next for a lot of sellers. That isn't that bad. Uh, the lower the better on saturation score and the higher the better on the next topic, niche score. And what niche score does is it's gonna tell you, okay, well, uh, we've got this many sellers. The margin's pretty good. A lot of Amazon or not a lot of Amazon sellers. Uh, is it monopolistic? Are there a lot of reviews for these products? Is it profitable? Is it in the right price range? This product is. Heat guns are a great thing to private label. The only issue you're going to have, it's, it's a very old niche. And this actually tells you that by going to niche history, it'll tell you how old the niche is, how many sellers there are, and when they came in. And if there are a lot more older sellers, it's going to be more difficult to uh, dethrone them from their spot on the Amazon search ranking list. So when you type in heat guns, the top one is probably the oldest listing or the most popular or both and to be that top spot or to be the top five spots will take more work in an old niche as opposed to a new niche where it's a wild west scenario where whoever has the most reviews or the lowest price is going to get that spot beyond having uh, the broad niche metrics that are very helpful they have individual product metrics as well the first three listings on the spreadsheet I told you, so the first three rows, those are sponsored listings. We can uh, X those out and ignore them because we don't care about sponsored posts or sponsored products or whatever it is for this video, I mean. We care about sponsored posts because you're watching one, but uh, sponsored products, unless you're paying for them, 
uh, which I don't like to do. It's a whole different game. We're trying to get organic sales because organic sales are the most reliable and, in my humble opinion, the best ones. On this, so the first item to show up is the Genesis GHG bunch of numbers dual temperature one. I own two of these. They work fine. They get a little bit hot, but they're heat guns. That's what they're supposed to do. When you look at it, you hover over it, you see the product image, you see the product score. Each individual listing has its own product score. The higher, the better, the lower, the easier it is for you to take their spot. After that, you have the number of sellers. The one seller products are usually going to be the private label products. Two sellers might be Amazon if they also do Amazon warehousing, but you know, usually you want to stay away if you're a seller not doing private label stuff from those one or two sellers. Uh, the ones that are like down here, we have Porter Cable uh, 29 sellers. Is that, is that a Harbor Freight brand? I'm not sure. But that's like the biggest name brand uh, heat gun. And then down at 13 is Black & Decker. Everything else seems to be, yeah, Genesis, Seek One. This is just a heat gun with no brand. Yom is the brand. Wagner Spray Tech is a brand. These are all uh, people like you and me who are making a bunch of money selling heat guns on Amazon. We can see what the sales rank is after that. We can see the price and the FBA fees and the net margin. This shouldn't be net margin. It should be gross margin, in my opinion, because this is not including um, what the cost of the goods would be. So it isn't your net profit. Maybe that's technically right, but... Um, just the way you and I talk about it, this margin right here is not including the cost of goods. It's only with the Amazon fees. So when you see this, you know, seventeen ninety eight list price and eight oh eight oh five FBA fees, what that means is you're basically, if you're buying your heat gun for five dollars, you're making five dollars profit. You got to do a little bit of math in your head, but I really hope you can do five minus fifteen. I really hope you can, or five minus five, or whatever these numbers are. After that, you have estimated monthly sales. This is a great metric because it helps you figure out how many are going to move a month. How many should I buy my first month? Oftentimes, with these wholesalers, the more you buy, the better deal you get. And that rings doubly true for freight. If you're buying these in China, it's going to be an expensive, long trip. After sales, we have estimated monthly revenue. Uh, you can see the reviews as well. A lot of reviews for three out of those top five over 1300 for the top three out of the top five but two out of the top five have under 311 reviews one has 310 so those are more in your range now is that the kind of thing you want to just jump into and pay for reviews no don't do that but it gives you an idea that yes there is still some wiggle room in this niche next up is rpr that's revenue per review pretty self-explanatory the rating is just a metric rating the product. Uh, it's out of five. Higher is better. Lower is worse. Next up is LQS. It's the listing quality score. Not, the, you know, lower ones mean you can take it over easier. The available from column is important because that lets you know how old these sellers are. So the top five, one of these is from 2004. That's insane. 2011, 2018, 2018, 2013. So those 2018s and then at 10, a 2019 at 9 2019 uh the that being the year they came into the market so again this is not like a huge home run niche but using amazon scout pro i'm able to say hey probably it's worth buying a thousand of these at you know five bucks a pop if i can after i do that then we can say okay well they sold or they're not sold the, when you're doing private label i think five thousand dollars is probably a pretty good minimum amount to invest in my, in my opinion everyone else has their own numbers i guess but i think five grand's a good number and uh using amazon scout pro you can easily figure out is five thousand dollars in this product niche does it that make sense or am i just you know throwing a a pebble in the grand canyon per se Okay guys, that is the video. Thank you for watching. We went over Amazon Scout Pro. We focused on product score, niche score, saturation score, product history, 
and niche history. All very important things that you honestly have to know if you want to be a serious private labeler, if maybe thrift stores or retail arbitrage isn't your thing, maybe this is. I have a link to the product below. I have a discount for you. It's going to change depending on what they give me, but it's not going to be full price. And on top of that, I get some cash on the back end when you buy it. So if you want to help the channel out, please buy it. Hope this video was helpful, guys. I'll see you later and uh, make some money.